Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video we're going to talk about the administrative blocks that we have for the PTO in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So here we can see that once we have already configured the PTO, as we saw in the previous videos, we, we are able to start working with the blocks for the PTO. So what I want to show you in this part is the administrative blocks. We are not going to, uh, I'm not going to explain how to make the movements. I just want to show you the, the blocks that allow you to see errors or see the actual position of velocity, as you can see here on the screen. So if we take a look here in the configuration tab that we have and access to the blocks, if we go over here to this view, let me just put the the pen if we go to this block okay here we have the possibility to select this one is for motion and this one is the administrative that we're going to cover now so these ones are related to how we can configure okay or change or read the actual configuration that we have for the pto's that we have probably going to be covered later in another video as this is right over here then this one, the touch proof, I'm going to explain in another video, I believe it should be uh, worth to, to see different behavior. Okay, we're gonna cover this one. I believe, no, this one was covered. No, we, I'm going to cover this one. Okay, just to create an error and see what's going on. And this ones, okay, are probably the most, uh, useful for you to see what's going on with the actual axis that we have the driver so the first two elements allow us to see the velocity and the position something important here the velocity okay is in hertz which is related to the how we have configured okay in our software here how we can configure this there is no RPM or something like that. It's just the frequency of the pulses that we are sending. So this is what we receive on the uh, on the function block with actual velocity. For the pulses, uh, for the position, is the number of pulses that we are sending from the drive, from the PLC to the drive. So this is what we're going to see over here. And these three are for general purposes, like, uh, for example, see the axis uh, behavior, the state and this one related to the motion state which is related to the data they are on states of the motion that we have on the plc for the pto okay and this one i believe we cover uh, in the previous presentation about the access error when we were talking about the um the limitations on the software the limitation by software or by hardware that we have on the plc so let's continue with this so how to reset just go to the function blocks for pto administrative and then select this one drag and drop it or just click and then click on the function block and then click on the where you want to locate it and it's important when you locate the function block you need to link the axis to something okay that you have configured in the previous part otherwise it's not going to work so the same can be applied with the read actual position and read velocity. We need to link the axis to something, otherwise it's not going to work. Now, we can read the actual position and the actual velocity using the block, as in seen over here when you are online. But if you want to share this information, for example, to an HMI, this is how you can do it. So basically, you need to use the instance of the pto and then the number that you have dot position because it's the identification that you have over here or dot velocity okay from the read actual velocity so you can send this okay or move the value to a percentage md so you can use this value in an hmi so if you want to share the actual information the actual position of velocity okay you can move those values to a percentage md okay one important thing here is that when you move the values 
it's not like uh, degrees or the length value it's just the pulses and the frequency of those pulses so you will need to make some calculations later we're going to see in another video the implementation with Alexion 32 and 28 and ITB so based on that we should be able to calculate the distance or degrees uh, or the velocity of the movement that we have so if we continue with this We have the read status of the PTO. This one is important because if the later we're gonna see if for example the axis is not referenced to zero, the home, then we cannot execute the absolute movement. Okay. Something important here is this the axis state, which is linked to the status of the diagram and state motion, okay, which is this one over here. We're going to cover that later when we start with the motion movements. This information is useful to show, for example, in the HMI. And in order to do that, we just need to use the name of the instance that we have, dot axis states. So we can move this value to a percentage NW variable. Okay. So we continue with this part presentation. We also have the read motion state that basically says if it's constant velocity accelerating or decelerating. You just need to enable this, okay, in order to execute it with a variable and then link it to an axis, and that's all. So now, in order to understand a little bit more of this, let's start open one project that I have. It's not finished, but it's gonna work anyway. So let me just move this to the other side over here and let me see if i can show you the axis this is the axis okay just move a little bit okay so this is the an axis okay it doesn't matter now how is the the formula i just want to make it move so if we go to programming I have dun, 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 the MC power that allows us to enable the user to drive. Okay, in theory, I should be able to uh, link this limit with a real sensor and this one for uh, an activation from the drive. Okay, so we should be able to enable the drive and then send the commands. Receive the command in a digital input to say that the drive is ready and then we can execute any of the action. Okay, so let's see now in the status, read position, okay, and read velocity. So just to see this, how it works, I'm going to use the set position just to indicate that the actual position that I have here is the zero probably one solution is to use the home but I'm going to explain the home later so I'm just going to change the actual position now let me just check if I have an animation table for this read position actual position okay here actual position so as soon as I execute this it should be in zero and there we go it's in zero so what I'm going to do is just to make a more velocity uh, so you can see um, how how it works. So let me see how is this configuration. Du, 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 du. In this case, I have some formula ready made for the velocity. So let me see more velocity. Du, 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 du. So let's indicate like this should be uh, 50 RPM if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to execute the mode velocity now. Let's change the mode velocity. Mode velocity, yes, mode velocity. So now the drive should start moving again. And here over here, we should be able to see indication velocity in the Hertz. That probably should be in this one, this number. Okay, and the position will be incremented. So you can see over there. 
the velocity should be the same, which is, is the amount of pulses that I'm sending to the axis. And this one, the position is going to be incremented. Okay, so in this case, uh, what I'm going to do in order to stop the moment is to use the stop command that is over here. Uh, but let me see something here. The drive is moving, so the other thing that we can change here, uh, this is done. Uh, read the status and read motion state. Let's try to do this. So let's go back here. So if we read motion status. Okay, here you can see there is some continuous motion. Okay, this is home. Uh, this is one important thing. So if we stop this now, let me see if I have uh, X CMD to stop. Uh, I'm going to stop it. Stop in. Okay. So the drive is stopped and now it stands still. Okay, so you can see how we change the status of this. And uh, this you can see in this one, which is the status. Now if I move this again, move velocity add and move it again you can see it's in constant velocity okay i'm going to stop it again just to show you this stopping okay and then it's going to change the status of the other ones okay stopping da, 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 da. stand still so let me just double check again here. We just stop those. It's done. This one is done. This already done. Okay, it was done. Now the rest. Are, the rest is very simple. Uh, if we have an error on the block, we just need to reset the command. So, uh, da, 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 da. with the status reset here. So basically. Once you have a fold in one of the axes, okay, what you can do is to go here and reset, and that's it. There is nothing else to do. Um, I don't remember if I select this and put it again. I believe it's going to be automatically reset. Reset uh, the axis, and there we go. So let me show you again. So. This MC Power has the possibility to use the hardware. Okay, I'm using marks, but you can use hardware. So I'm going to simulate that I can have an error here. Okay, have an error. So this indicates there is um, an error on the axis. Okay, error stop action active. So I'm going to indicate now that it's no longer available. And now, in order to delete this error, we need to press it. And there we go. It's enabled once again. Okay. So this is how you can um, use the different administrative blocks. Okay. Gives everything done. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So um, basically, we have seen the different administrative blocks that we have. Uh, the idea of the touch pro and the read and write parameters going to see we want to see that later because i believe is uh, we need to focus more in that it's going to take more time for that so we're going to see it later but so far we have done is to see how the different administrative that you must have on the application so you know the status of the axis also how you can reset if it is a problem and how you know in the actual position that it has and the velocity that the axis is having so i believe that can sum up all the administrative words at the moment that we have so 
Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.